All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our uh, Spring Rise Up campaign, Self Care Saturday, episode two. Uh, this is our <laughs> our uh, second um, episode where we are just featuring uh, just a whole lineup of different topics, events, and initiatives for holistic mental health and suicide prevention amongst our community, amongst our community partners. Um, and so today I'm so excited to welcome uh, one of our uh, Life of Joy youth leaders, uh, Katie Linenkamp. Katie, say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so thanks so much, Katie, for joining us. And I'm just, I'm so excited to um, introduce everybody to you and you to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> uh, before she shares a, a little bit about herself, um, I, I'm just so excited because we have such an amazing lineup of uh, of programs um, for specifically for teens uh, throughout our spring campaign, which runs now through June. And so we have our monthly teen support group that we do the first Mondays of the month. And then we have two teen socials uh, that are scheduled out uh, between April and May. So we have one next Saturday and one in May. Uh, they tend to be the, the third weekend of the month um, for scheduling purposes. But uh, Katie's going to share a little bit more about those. Um, but first, uh, Katie, I would love for you to just share because you have such a powerful testimony um, for your own journey um, through mental health challenges and um, just rough spots that you've been in. So tell tell us a little bit about about you, about um, kind of that journey, where, where it started, and um, just what's been helpful for you through that. Absolutely. Um, I love being involved in helping to mentor these kids. It's just, it's so powerful. And I'm thankful for it because it's brought an awareness to my own life. Being able to be involved and kind of look back on situations that I was in as a kid, I have a newfound ability to work through some of the things that I, you know, struggled with myself. So it changed my perspective and it just helps it helps further that passion I have. And I'm, I get so excited every time for these events because we get to talk to the kids and create this environment that just, they feel loved and excited and, you know, friend, just friends all in one place, all combined together and just hanging out. I feel like those were some of the, um, those were some of the times I was missing as a teen, as a young adult. And so I'm thankful to contribute to it and mentor them so that they get to have that environment and learn tips and tricks and ways to develop mindsets that are healthy, healthy mindsets. So when you're going you know, to college, as you're transitioning in all these stages of life, you have tips in your bag to combat difficult times. We all go through difficult times. We all face difficulties, whether it's family or a work environment or a school environment, no matter what it is, we go through things. So to have tips and tricks in that arsenal bag that you can reach to and say, you know, I might be struggling, but X, Y, Z, I, you know, I might be going through this, but I know how to combat these things. It, you know, it changes your perspective. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. And I'm just so grateful because you and the other leaders, you know, that are, are running our programs for, for youth, it's, um, it's just such an encouraging space. And the feedback that we've gotten from, from the, you know, the teens that have participated, it's just been super powerful and yes. um, encouraging. Um, so can you just share a little bit more about just kind of the, the place of struggle that you were in and just kind of the challenges that came with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I came up in a little bit of an abusive household when I was younger. It was just difficult for me. Um, you know, it was very localized. So I kind of, I didn't go to a public school. I didn't really go, have, a, I would say a support system outside of my immediate family. Um, so I learned a lot of unhealthy kind of closed in mindsets. And, you know, some of that can be environmental. There's many reasons for that. So I don't put the blame on one, any one person, but I developed some unhealthy mindsets. I was in a really dark place. I was very unhappy. I was not a super well-liked kid. I just I had a big personality and I, I wasn't um, exposed socially. So I didn't know what to do with that big personality. Uh, so I had some unhealthy mindsets and 
being involved and learning how to mentor kids kind of worked in reverse for me because I went back on situations that I faced as a kid and was like, I was in such a dark place and I didn't know it. I just, I thought that that was all there really was. <laughs> kind of thought that it was just kind of always sad, always dark, always feeling down or worried. And I wasn't exposed to those other situations and circumstance where you were uplifted and felt encouraged. I mean, at times I was, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> but there was definitely some dark moments. And I feel like being able to see and mentor kids has made me look at circumstances that I might have just brushed over and never addressed and never dealt with. So that way I am looking at things. I am on cultivating that lifestyle so that I can encourage others to do it. Hmm. And yeah, and, and it's, it's such a perfect tie-in, I think, to what we're really trying to do, you know, with these youth programs as we continue to build them out and, and strengthen them and yeah. the interaction with them, right, is just giving this healthy space, right, to Absolutely. walk real life, right, um, and and to know what else is out there. You Absolutely. know, I, I still appreciate your, um, number one, um, congratulations for speaking your truth and sharing your story. I know that's not always easy. Um, but gosh, how powerful, you know, is it that sense of community where, yes. um, you know, I think especially through the pandemic, right? Um, just the amount of isolation, um, you know, that there was for these youth, these Absolutely. teens. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Being a teen being shut in your room, hey, and you're on a Zoom screen, that's so hard. Yeah. That's well, and then there's the other flip side of it is as life has opened back up and schools are back in session, you know, Absolutely. and it's like this whole weird dynamic of where I feel like, you know, the social skills are really lacking. The Absolutely. interaction is awkward. It's um, even for adults. It's like, Absolutely. oh my gosh, we forgot how to communicate. <laughs> I was just about to say, as an adult, almost 30 years old, I'm going to a, you know, a party the first time after the pandemic. I'm like, hello. You just yeah. feel kind of uncomfortable. So I can't even imagine being 15 years old, going through all these things and struggles and then you're thrust back into the world. You're just like so unprepared. So that's why I love being involved in this to just give kids that space where they feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And I and I'm so grateful, you know, for you and the other leaders um, that are a part of this. And so tell us a little bit about um, what's going on. What are we doing for our Teen Social this month? And then yes. Next month? Yeah. Woohoo! Join us. Our teen social is going to be so awesome this month. Um, it is going to be a manifested vision boarding event. We're just going to spend some time together. Like we said, having that comfortable environment where we can fellowship and hang out. And we're going to do some awesome vision boarding activities and some really cool activities that just kind of get those motivated juices flowing. Um, and we'll have some snacks. We'll get to hang out and like really just have that comfortable, loving, chill environment. <laughs> Yes. And I think we are, you're going to do a little bit of a sound bowl. Session, oh, yes, right? we yeah. are. We are. Before we get started with our um, with our activities, with, you know, getting those juices flowing, we're going to sit down and center ourselves and do just a little sound bowl activity. And that way they feel a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. And that the sound bowl thing is so neat. Those singing sound bowls. I don't know if, if those of you watching have ever experienced. Yeah. That. The but, first I mean, time I actually experienced it was at Life of Joy. Yeah, oh, at like yeah, a joy thing last yeah, year. That was yeah, so it's awesome. Yeah, it's such a cool uh, tool for just learning how to just take a breath and set and sense it's a great centering technique. Yeah. And so that you know, that's one of the things that we want to bring to the teens is just different, different tools, right? Different absolutely uh, tips and tips and tools, as you like to put it, Katie, right? Um, and so uh, yeah, all right. So and that's next Saturday, right? Yes. From two to four. Next Saturday, um, two to four at the Chamber of Commerce in Sorrento. Okay, Park. the Park in Arnold Chamber, right? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So um, register for that. I think by Wednesday, right? We're we're requesting registrations by Wednesday. 
Um, and that way we make sure we have enough materials for everybody. And then let's see, what is up for May? I know we have our May teen social. Is it the 21st, right? Yes. The 21st, we're going to be doing a little walk, a little bit of a nature walk. And we're hoping to have some other awesome activities planned. Bring a lunch, bring a little picnic, maybe a little knapsack with a snack and a water. Um, come in your athleisure and your athletic wear. We're going to get our little walk on. Um, it's not going to be anything extensive. Listen, I am not the most fit individual. So if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so we'll go on a little nature walk and we're going to hope to have a, a really cool activity in the middle, but don't forget that water bottle. So you're staying hydrated. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, and that is at Kinder Farm Park, right? Mm -hmm. um, Yep, not too far. Um, and uh, it's like make sure to minutes. register. Yes, yes, be sure to register. Um, and let's see, and that is from 11 to 1, I think, on May 21st. Right? I believe so. Yes. So, um, so you can follow the link um, that's in the caption of our video here. It'll take you to our uh, Spring Rise Up campaign page, and then you can link into all the different happenings, including these teen events. Um, you know, so thank you, Katie, so much for just sharing your heart and your story and your encouragements. Um, and please, we just want to encourage everybody. We have so much more happening. We are, we are an organization, not just for youth. Um, that's just kind of been our starting point for our support programs. Right. Um, but we do have so much more to offer at Life of Joy. We have our big Life of Joy day that's coming up June 4th. Um, and that is like a community wellness day, uh, where we're going to have all different sorts of activities, um, for all different ages to build joy in mind, body, and spirit. Uh, so we really want to encourage you to to come out, register for that. We're just we want to get a decent head count ahead of time to be prepared. And um, and yeah, just thank you so much, Katie, again. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and your teens. Please share about these opportunities with with other youth in your lives, uh, with other parents of youth um, and encourage them to to just get connected with our community. So and we'll see you all again next Saturday. So thanks so much, Katie. No problem. Have a great day. Bye.